Hello everyone and welcome to What's in My Pen Case. This is the Lee Hit Lab Smart Fit Pen Case and I picked this up from Jet Pens quite a while ago. It was part of one of my Christmas gifts. Very fitting for a minimal and functional planner like me. I feel like I need my infomercial voice. Let me know how it goes. <clears throat> let me let me prepare myself. This beautifully crafted pen case has a zip around feature and it lies flat once opened. We do have two mesh pockets on the left hand side and we also have a soft fabric lining on the right there is a gray interior where we can store pens and accessories and things of that sort let me let me cut it out this gel pen comes in a pack of two from Dollar General. Two pens, one dollar, beautiful grip, 0 0.7 millimeter. It's black, retractable. So let's be honest, this is a 50 cent pen and it's a fast drying gel pen. I'm pleasantly surprised by it. And I will share this with anyone because it is affordable. Anybody that's left-handed, this would be a nice pen for you because it's quick drying. If you're one that loses pens often, this would be a nice one to keep in your bag. Also, if you're starting your stationary collection or your pen case, very affordable option and it does well for the price. And here we have the Big Body Benz. This is the Zebra Sarasa Dry Air Fit. What a mouthful. I did get this pen from the cloth and paper website. It is in 0 0.5. I'm not a 0 0.5 girl, but honestly, it's a pen that I like having in my arsenal. It's just well-crafted, easy to write with, translucent grip, quick drying. I mean, what else do you need? Beautiful penmanship and quick drying. I mean, what a combination. Anyway, on to the Bic Gelocity in 0 0.7. This pen has a full body grip. I mean, just wonderful. Just great. Quick drying, black ink, that's what I like. And if I had to compare a pen to a person, it would be an athleisure girl that loves a monochromatic look. It gets the job done. I mean, come on, what more do you need? Oh, well, well, here we are. Paper Mate, Ink Joy, 1.0. Oh, quick drying, black ink, subtle on the grip, but there's still a grip. It's very minimal, but it's there. This is my go-to. This is my holy grail pen. The problem is it's getting harder to find in a 1.0. 0 0.7, you can find them just about anywhere, assorted colors and all of that, but the black ink 1.0, when you find a pack, buy two. Mine in this video is a little bit dusty, but hear me out. I stocked up on these. When I'm done with these, I sadly have to find my new holy grail because I am not driving around the city looking for a pen. That to me is just a little bit outrageous. Anyone gives me a side eye on this next pen, I understand. I know. I respect your position on this. I get it. I'm right there with you. This is the Pilot Friction Pen. I believe it's a 0 0.7 retractable black ink. It has an eraser, but you retract it on the clip, not on the top of the pen. Now, what grinds everybody's gears, and if not everyone, a large number of stationary people. The ink is so watery and it really makes my skin crawl. It just has to be this way. But as you can see, compared to the other pens, this one is just very thin. I can see the paper through it. Anyway, I keep the pen around because I might use it for my financial overviews or anything finance related, I'm sure I will be making quite a few mistakes. We'll see how it operates on the inserts that I have, but for now it works well on college ruled paper, legal notepad. It works well for what it is. Here we have another Bic pen. This is the Bic Glide Ultra Comfort Atlantis in the 1.0. This is a ballpoint pen. I feel like your pen case should have a variety. I know mine might not look like it, but there are a few things that are not the same, I promise. This pen is important to my pen case because those of you that know, you know that every pen cannot be used on every Thing. And here we are with the Pentel Energel quick drying 0 0.7 millimeter. I accidentally bought the needle point pen. At first I was punching the air about that, but I have had some time to use it, appreciate it quietly. I'm enjoying it. Will this be my holy grail after my Ink Joy 1.0? has run its course? I don't know, I don't know. 
But what I'm saying is I'm into it right now. Did I mention that it was quick drying? I think I did, but in case I didn't, it's quick drying. I, I'm kind of liking it. Comparing it to all of the other pen tests, I'm, I'm really liking it. What are your thoughts? What do you think? Let me know. And now let's go ahead and test out the mild liners. You know that with mild liners, you should really highlight before you write, but there is yet another pen that you should get if you write before you highlight. Okay, so I haven't purchased that pen yet, but Jet Pen says it is the pen to use under highlighter. So I am gonna trust them because they haven't steered me wrong. The mild gray mild liner is my favorite. These are double pointed and I have repurchased the mild liner in the mild gray quite a few times now. And the other three, I don't use as often, but I will be incorporating them more in the year to come. Before I show you the other mild liners, here is my old Energel. Beautiful pen needs more ink. This is my white gel pen that I use on black sticky notes. And here is the inside of my pen case. Doesn't it look good when it's all put together? I know, I know, I know. Okay, anyway. So on the left hand side, we have the Drift Grip and three. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah three Paper Mate Inkjoy pens, the friction pen that we're rolling our eyes at, I know, the Bic Gelocity, and then on the right side, we have the Ballpoint pen, we have the Needlepoint Energel, and the Office Hub Dollar Store Quick Drying pen. We also have three out of the four mild liners, and I also keep some post-its in here. This is actually for a book that I just finished after filming this video. Great book, by the way. We'll talk about it later. And on the left side at the bottom, I do have two of the Sesame clips. Beautiful clips. Love them. I feel like I only use one at a time, but I do have two of them. So I will link them down below. I'm not sure if this one is in stock, but her shop is currently closed until I want to say the third or the fourth, but I'll link it anyway. I truly thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to the seasoned vets in the game. Thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to the new viewers, the new commenters. I truly appreciate it. I'm going to wrap this up. We've been here for quite some time talking about pens. Like, come on now. We've got things to do. We have a planner to set up. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.